My name is Steve Elmy, aka the Rockstacker guy. I'm the creator of all Rockstacker wild game attractants. I met my wife Selena in high school, and uh, we were high school sweethearts. Been together almost 20 years now. We have two children. Ashton will be 10 this year. Come May and uh, Logan will be nine in October. They both enjoy spending time with me in the bush and uh, we as a family have grown to enjoy the outdoor sport and spend a lot of time together at the field. And it gives me an opportunity to educate my children about firearm safety and the hunting sport that we have, that we all love. We purchased a farm, an 88 acre parcel. One of the biggest keys about the property that we purchased was to utilize what we had. We have a barn, so we raise our own beef. We've raised our own pork, which we obviously blend with our venison meat that we harvest in the fall. And we collect our own chicken eggs. It gives the kids responsibility. They understand that the meat comes from these animals and we raise them on pasture and I know there's no steroids. It's a fantastic way to raise children. They don't get enough of it these days. So this gives me an opportunity to teach my kids about the fundamentals of living off of a farm. A lot of folks don't realize the amount of risk that I took to start Rackstacker. Resigning from the pet industry of 11 years, I had a very successful job. About a year later, we went into the recession and the market crash, which was a very scary point as a new startup company. Slane and I worked extremely hard, a lot of long nights, because we loved what we were doing. And as much as there was negativity in the market, we had a lot of drive and a lot of passion to what we had. You know, of course, there were stressful times I came home, but uh, my family supported me. It okay. kept a smile on. Back as soon as possible. We were able to push forward and be successful, you know, internationally. It's, uh, it's something I look back on and kind of smile and know that it was the right, right decision. Normally one would think that uh, an international business that expands you know, rapidly or with quick growth would be a bunch of suits in a, in a boardroom. But in fact, we're just down home grown people. We don't wave our flags around like we're international and in this big conglomerate company. We're just homegrown people enjoying our own sport and the business that we own. I've been fortunate enough to meet a fantastic group of people that have put the same drive that I've got behind Rackstacker and to drive the brand 
whether it be the warehouse guys to helping construct signs and work trade shows. And these guys field and trial test products for me all over the country in order to give back that information that I need to make sure that we're releasing great products. And I'm very fortunate to have these guys on my team. To Dad, I left you this note to read for tomorrow. Call for when Dad shoots kinetic. When we wake up at 6 a.m., you need to double check the cameras after brekkie. Be sure to bring your chair. Sincerely, Ashlyn Elmy. P.S. I will make you brekkie and I hope you get this note. See you in the morning. I love hunting. Cool. Kids aren't gonna like me waking up this early. Nice hair. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was telling me the only way to get you to bed was to tell you we're going turkey hunting. Now most would think I'm a whitetail fanatic, but it is springtime and I do like chasing turkeys. We've had a consistent flock coming into our front fields. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to take my kids out before they end up going to school in the morning and have a story to tell to the kids at school. My kids absolutely love hunting. They've been out in the field with me for some time and Logan is an absolute sure shot with open sights. Ashton on the other side, she's more of an archer. She spends her time practicing and taking her time to shoot. I really enjoy spending the time in the bush chasing these game animals. They really want to be there with me. Ashton, can you take the gun for me? Yep. A safe direction. Okay, you guys just sit down low. I'm staying behind me because they're going to come across the front right here. They're right back there. Okay, they're gonna come right across the front here, so you guys gotta stay low, but keep an eye out and I'll call you up when I see them, okay? The turkeys had been late coming into the field that morning, but I had the neighbor's cat that was hanging around complicating the situation. Oh, this is gonna screw our hunt. You see the cat on the top of the hill? Yeah. The white one there? See it. That's not gonna be good when the turkeys are there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, 
Yeah. Alright, so why don't you run out there and scare him? Okay. Just scare him right out. Just run him off because the, the turkeys see him, they're not going to come in. Well, go with her, yeah. Yeah. All right, that's enough. Come on back, guys. That's fine. Come on. Are the turkeys coming yet? No, but they're going to be here shortly. Oh, yeah. The sun was just breaking over the horizon, and we thought this whole hunt was going to be a bust. But then we had spotted a couple of hens coming over the hill, which changed the whole game. Okay. Oh, they just keep pouring in. Okay, guys, there's five hens there. I need just to stay still. Okay, we're lit up like a Christmas tree. It's a, it's a hen dusting. She scratches and throws the dust on top of her to keep the bugs and the mites off of her. Mm -hmm. They do that all day long. kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get up there and step on his head. Logan, grab the door there, bud. 
Step on his head, okay? Step on his head, guys. He's suffering, okay? You got to step hard. There you go. This has been such an amazing morning, being able to have the kids out here before their school and uh, shoot a bird. It's been a couple years since we've been out to do this together, so having the birds come out. I wasn't about having this big fancy tom. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with it, Jake. This is awesome. <laughs> what do you think of that? Is that ever awesome, eh? There. See the beard on him? Step on his head. <laughs> I feel privileged to be able to entertain my children in the sport of hunting, whether it be deer hunting or turkey, to take them out into mother nature and enjoy our sport and to educate them and teach them what we have available as a natural resource. It's something that I know very, very in depth and hopefully in years to come, they'll be able to take on this same sport and pass it along to futures to come. For those of you that are looking to make a life decision, change from what could become something small or international, if it's something that you're very familiar with and you have the drive to do something and are willing to work the 90 hours a week, I say go after it. Well, don't sit back when you're 60 years old going, sure. what if I tried that? That was my thoughts. I didn't want to be 60 years old looking back on what if I had tried that? I wanted to be that guy when I was 60 saying I did it. And if you have that type of drive with not an ounce of doubt, never doubt yourself. If you think that you can pull this off, go straight at it, full tilt. You will be successful.